Good morning, sheep fans. Cami's the name, Sheep's the Game. And we've got, we've got like a mini vlog for you today. We're doing like one farm, but it's a special farm. It's the Museum of Rural Life. Did I get that right, Maggie? Yes. I did, right. Museum of Rural Life, where Maggie is head shepherd. Head stop. Head stop, man. Of course, I've got cattle and all that too. I keep forgetting that. I don't do anything with the cattle. Just the sheep we're here to scan today. How are the sheep this year? How have they been? Um, they're in good form. Good fail. I did say that, I actually asked her if she was putting bales out and feeding them and they're just running on grass still. Ah, uh, still running on yeah. grass. Yeah, yeah, look at these guys here, look at this. Big blackies. Now, to add a wee bit of fun to this uh, scanning series, the, the team here are going to do the filming for me, but we, we need to know, like, let's do the blackies first. What percent of these blackies going to scan at? Well, they're going to scan at the yeah. blackies this year. 175. 175? That's my bet. Davey is a uh, head assistant stockman, but uh, yeah. what are they going to scan at? 170. Oh, I like that. I'm going to say 185. <laughs> I'm going to say 185. I, feel... uh, I, I think so, because they just look, they've got that glow in their eye, but I think they're going to scan very well, and they use up nearly 200%, but we're going we're gonna to find out. Are you guys going to film this vlog for me? Yeah, right here. Chief, so all the footage we see now, it's on you. If it's bad, it's on you. Okay. No pressure. The first thing we do is reset our satellite counter. Good. That's that reset, then we wait for a wee bit of juice to come through here. If you do this, it stops the air going back up the pipe. Oh, there's a wee kink in it somewhere. Oh, good. What, what colour? Ah, it's nice. It keeps my hands warm. What, uh, what colours are we marking them? What do you say? Ah, uh, he, he bothered with what colour? Well, make sure it's no blue. Oh, I've got blue and orange. There's a blue on them. I could do red and orange, but that's quite similar. Well, it was one dot for a single last year, two for triplets. Is that what we did? Uh -huh. Right, so you want you want a red? Aye. That'll do. Right. Now, you'll be amazed if you can see that with the camera. The, the sun is still blowing on it there, but I'm starting well with the wind. Oh, I don't, I just, what well, averages is more likely to be a turn than anything else. Just, just, just guess, aye. <laughs> <laughs> and then, like, when somebody questions me like that, I'll, I'll say, I'll make that one a triplet, they're obviously expecting a triplet. <laughs> <laughs> head. In fact, that's nearly all three, that's all three heads on the screen now. One, but they are just in the mist. That's what I didn't see. It's such a horrible job to learn, let's see when you're starting. It's, oh, it's, you must be Oh, I know. I know. Oh, it's, it's, it's a horror. Look, honestly, I came very close to quitting when I first started just because it, it's so demoralising. Just Aye. comes to April and I just think you're useless. But I'm used to it now. Uh, I'm, I'm used to everybody thinking that. So it's okay. I'm just triplets again. We're at 250% here, Maggie, just for a stare. That's triplets again, okay, is it? Uh, no, this one's no. This one's this one. Now I do appreciate it will be very difficult for some people to understand me, especially when I'm speaking to fellow Scottish people. We do use a lot of Scots words in Ayrshire. Anyway, what are we doing here? Well, we are pregnancy scanning these sheep. I'm not sure I properly explained that at the start. So I'm putting that little probe that you saw squirting water onto their belly. There's a little bit of skin just under there and it's showing me the image on the screen. Just the exact same technology that they use for ladies in the maternity unit when they're getting their scans. The biggest difference here is the girls don't get a nice picture to take away with them. These sheep we're scanning today are Scottish black face sheep, the most popular breed in the United Kingdom. And these are a very good example of the breed. They're great bodied sheep in great condition, certainly more of what you'd call a park type in terms of the size of them and that is also the reason why we all guess fairly high scanning percentages. Typically one of these sheep on a hill would be looking for somewhere in the region of 150 to 160 percent and on lowland ground you're looking closer to the 170 to 200 percent in some cases with these sheep. I must admit scanning blackies are not my favourite thing to scan because the horns tend to either rip my glove or smash into my arm 
I'll just generally make a lot of noise as they come through the crate, but you get used to it. Now let's hear the results as I finish off this last sheep. I just want it to be known. I just want. Oh, you still, it's still recording, is it? Yeah. Alright, let, let, let me address it. I, I just want it to be known that before this last one, it was bang on 185. Was it? But this one's an empty, so it's going to knock it down a wee bit. Oh no. 182. Right, oh, amazing. What? Absolutely amazing. So is that your three, em three empties? There's three four empties. Four empties. Yeah, 16 singles. 50 twins. And 10 triplets. It's good. Good blackies. Tremendous blackies. Okay, so a successful scan on the blackies at 182%. That is genuinely a fantastic scan for blackface sheep. But now we're on to the Scotch Mules, where 182%, although still a very good scan, would just be an average scan on these sheep. Maggie breeds all her own replacements here, so these mules have been homebred on this farm. And as you can see, they are the traditional type Scotch Mules, which means their father is a traditional Blueface Leicester. And as I've mentioned a few times on this channel, I think they look fantastic and hope they make a little comeback. I'm certainly doing my best to make it happen. Anyway, let's hear what the scores were there. With very limited footage of the results. Here we go. Six triplets. Oh, that's that's right. Right. It's on the too many triplets then. No, no, it's good. No, well that could be three. 193%. Three Who's that? Ideally that would be uh, three cents. Get them all paired up. Aye, aye, aye. Yeah, yeah. 193% those mules scanned at, so that's a great result there for Maggie and the team. Now on to these little beauties, the Dutch Spotted. This is a very interesting breed that we've had on the channel before, of course, but they have that benefit of being interesting to look at and with a fantastic carcass. So they're becoming really popular here in the UK, with prices easily reaching into the four figures for females of a good pedigree. But they look good, they have a good carcass. How do they scan? 214%. Uh, good good advert for your uh, Dutch spotted yeah. there, James. Uh, is that a good scan? 214%? I think so. Do you like feeding pet lambs? Not really. Oh. <laughs> Unfortunately, because you're going to have a few. Good, yeah. for a great, great advert for the Dutch Sported there, Richie. Well done. We'll love that. The society will love that. <laughs> You've got a reduction in your fees this year. What do you think of your Dutch Sported? Good. Good? Uh, what's the best breed of sheep, though? Dutch Sported. Ah, I thought you were going to say that. I thought you might have said Blackie there after seeing those ones. So, Maggie, how was that for you? How did you feel that went? Aye, it was it was all right. You, I suppose a, a wee bit a wee bit back on last year. You said a wee bit aye. But uh, and I was saying before, and you know a lot of you all know this already. But scannings are just a bit back this year. I don't know whether this year's the weather's played a part or last year was just a really good year. I can't remember. You were I really good I, here last year. Aye, but the scanning results are that different to what the lamb doing it. But you can that <laughs> exactly. She that does the scanning the rules. That, Maybe no, he was the most accurate. Aye, right, that's all we say. That's all we say, Maggie. So don't let it. Don't get upset. And now there'll always be some extra lambs at lambing time. We'll no, have to maybe go the, the other way. Like <laughs> there'll always be some extras to pull it up. Well, thanks very much, team. It's been a pleasure. That was be yes, short and sharp. We'll, we'll see you. See you for clipping, apparently. Yes. Roped into a couple of full days uh, demo in here. His fault, apparently. But no, uh, deep no blame. I need to work out what my day rate is. Right, I'll go into the next job. We'll see you later, see you team. Later, Heading back to school now. No, I didn't think you would be. <laughs> See you later, folks.